What's up everyone, Eric here from Classic Wax Sports Cards and today we are going to rip open a pretty cool oddball box from 1981. We've got the Topps Baseball Scratch-Offs. Um, I've had the, I have a couple cases of these actually. Um, so if anyone's interested after the video you can message me. Uh, I'd be willing to sell some of them. But uh, this is a pretty cool oddball box. I mean, it's from 1981. They're real wax wrappers. That's authentic wax. And um, you can pick a box of this up right now for ballpark like 60 bucks. Um, I don't know if one costs more or not, if it's been wrapped and sealed or, or anything like that. But uh, the cool thing about these sets from the early 80s is all the different Hall of Famers you'll be able to get out of here. I mean, um, this set is loaded with guys that are still, you know, playing ball at this point in time, like uh, Pete Rose, Tom Seaver, Nolan Ryan, uh, Carl Yastrzemski, Rod Carew, Reggie Jackson, Jim Palmer. Then, of course, you're going to have guys like George Brett, Mike Schmidt, um, second year of Ricky Henderson. That's probably one of the better cards that you'll find in here. So let's go ahead and start to, to rip these open. Um, 1981 was the year of the strike as well. But uh, it's the most exciting new lollipop idea for fun since the invention of candy. Ring pop. So you can see here, 1981 Topps Chewing Gum, Drea, Pennsylvania. Um, I looked on the bottom of the box and this should be from the first print run. The serial number ends in a one, begins in a one. So uh, I don't know how many print runs there was of this particular item or these, this particular set. But these are, um, they're not the most aesthetically pleasing cards. They're oversized, but they're also perforated. So if you're, when you see these, this is... Uh, Now there is gum in these packs. There's your gum. However, oh, and we got a Ricky Henderson right on top. The gum is in a package. So you're not gonna have the gum stain, which is just phenomenal. So first one we have here, as you can see, they're scratch-offs, just like they say. Uh, the back has sometimes different offers. Then you have these scoreboard ones. That's like a whole thing you can collect. Um, 108 cards in the set. And this Ricky Henderson card, there's one of the panels where he's on there with Reggie Jackson, I believe. And that that's... That's the card that sells for the most in the set, other than just there are individual cards of the player, I believe. I don't think they're all in these three panels, but I could be wrong about that. I've opened up some packs of these, but I've never opened up a full box. Uh, we'll probably open up half this box today and then maybe the second half another day. Second one, you got Mike Hargrove, John Mayberry, Larry Guerra, uh, Tony Perez. Carney Lansford, Otto Velez. Let's put this Henderson to the side. Make a stack of the stars. Uh, next one, Reggie Smith, Lee Mazzilli, Doug Flynn. Oh, we got a nice Ozzy Smith here. Um, that's going to be Ozzy Smith's third year, so he's still on the Padres there. And uh, that's a pretty clean looking. Ozzy, these sell for a couple bucks. I mean, they're not anything crazy. I've, I saw some PSA 10s that go for... Uh... Now, what they do is you can get both the whole panel graded. Now, keep in mind, it's a larger card. This is bigger than an average size card, so it's an oversized. So you're going to pay more if you get this whole panel graded. Um, but people also break these off right here where they're perforated, and you can send in and get graded just the individual card um, and those are most of the ones that are graded on eBay are actually the individual cards um, there are ones 
where the whole panel's graded, but um, seems like the ones where there's one are actually probably more desirable. Because people are going to collect these for their, if they're player collectors or, uh, you know, set registry builders. I'm just going to set all this gum to the side. And what do we got here? Well, there we go. Two Hall of Famers on the same panel. You got Rod Carew and Paul Molitor. Now, I'm not really sure when you scratch these off. I think there's something where you can like match up. I don't even, let's see. Let's see what it says here. Uh, rules are the same as baseball. Nine innings complete a game. Make your own batting order by sorting your cards into teams of eight different NL and AL players. Enter the player's lineup number in the square provided on the back. Okay, so this is just, you know, it's like a little game you can play. Um, you're obviously not winning money here. It's not like a lottery ticket scratch off. <laughs> But they're pretty cool. I mean, for a 1981 wax product that you can pick up for uh, under 60 bucks, not bad. Uh, Alan Trammell, Cecil Cooper, Willie Wilson. Alan Trammell's in the Hall of Fame. We'll stick him there. Another Hall of Famer, Jim Rice. So see what I'm saying? Like, almost every one of these panels has a Hall of Famer. There's a Mike Schmidt, Davey Concepcion. Mike Schmidt in the nacho helmet with the afro. I love that. Uh, another one. You got Tom Seaver, Terry Poole, who was a very underrated hitter, and Dusty Baker, who is certainly on his way to the Hall of Fame. And Dale Murphy. And actually, I think this Dale Murphy card is one of the... It's one of the cards that actually sells for more for more than just a couple bucks. So we'll put that there too. Um, these are really cool. I, I like these. I mean, I, I they're not the best looking card. The pictures are cool. Like the player pictures are pretty cool. But outside of that, the aesthetics of the card aren't the greatest. But it, I mean, for 60 bucks and an oddball product, the wrappers aren't my favorite. Um, I mean, not bad. Not bad, but you know. Another Tony Perez. We'll put that there. He's in the Hall of Fame. Oh, we got a nice George Brett here. So as you can see, some of them are, you know, a little bit faded. I mean, it's tough to probably get tens on these because of some of the the uh, potential issues. There's another Jim Palmer. On this one, you've got Jim Palmer and Jim Rice. Jim Palmer's always got his hat off. Loves to show off that hair. Here's Gary Carter in the Expos. That's a good looking one. There, a nice looking picture of Gary Carter, Jose Cruz, and Phil Garner with the uh, early 80s porn stash there. Dave Parker should be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. The Cobra, Gary Matthews, and Davey Concepcion. Three pretty darn good players right there. Dave Kingman, Terry Poole, and Steve Rogers. Yeah, we'll put that there. Concepcion and Parker. Probably both belong in the Hall of Fame, so put them in the Hall of Fame and star stack. Come out of the way. And what do we got here? Oh, we got some Mariners players. With those old school Mariners hats. Freddie Lynn, Tom Pachurik. I always I always mess up his name. Pachurik, I think is how you say it. Dan Meyer. Richie Zisk. Tommy John. Ooh, there's Eddie Murray. Pretty early Eddie Murray. I guess that would be his like third or fourth year there. Another Gary Carter. Now, if you go on eBay, I saw one that was um, recently sold where the Gary Carter panel was autographed. Now, that's pretty cool. And that actually was one of the ones that sold. It was PSA uh, graded to two, I believe. Another one of those panels. 
and we've seen that panel as well. So you're probably going to get a lot of duplicates. Um, Oh, we got Keith Hernandez here on the back. That's one we haven't seen yet. Uh, so these packs are in good condition. I mean, the box was all beat up, but the packs are nice and nice and fresh. Robin Yount. Oh, there's a good one. There's the one I was talking about. So that's that's the card that sells for the most in the set. Is Reggie Jackson. And Ricky. Second year Ricky. Lance Parrish. There's another Dale Murphy. It's got Vita Blue on it this time. Oh, there's one stuck on there. Steve Garvey. Greg Lazinski. Davey Lopes. Another, another should be Hall of Famer in Garvey, so we'll put him there with the stars. And then Keith Hernandez, who you could argue also is a borderline Hall of Famer. Uh, does he deserve him to be in this pile? Yeah, we'll put him in that pile. Don't want to disrespect Keith, even though he just disrespected uh, my Philadelphia Phillies lately. Don't want to disrespect Keith Hernandez. Great fielding second or, uh, first baseman. One of the better fielding first basemen of all time. Okay, here's one where we finally had a gum issue. Now, see, this is what can happen, folks. Like, when you have 40-year-old gum, gum is a food. So, you know, you're going to have potential issues like this. I mean, lucky you don't have something worse there. But you've got some weird, you know, where that gum kind of disintegrated. It left a little bit of a stain on the card here on this one on the back. So it looks like good thing that back card is three pretty common players. Tony Armas. Eddie Murray. And Steve Garvey. Davy Concepcion, Davy Parker with Concepcion, and the one with the gum stain, which is Jack Clark, Terry Poole. So these are cool. I mean, like I said, I'm into this oddball stuff. I love the other stuff outside of just your normal base stuff that you see all the time. Um, I would prefer to rip these things all day. And stuff that I've already seen a thousand times. Um, Tony Armas. Rod Carew with the mustache. I don't know how many cards have Rod Carew with the mustache. Not many. Oh, here we go. Pete Rose coming up. Joe Charbonneau. That's his year. He was the coming off his monster season. In 1980, pretty interesting story, Joe Jarno. Um, there he is, Pete Rose, the hit king, Charlie Hustle himself. Now, if you don't know, I am a pretty big Pete Rose fan. I collect his cards. Um, I love collecting his eyeball stuff. This one's in pretty good shape. little miscut there on the left. But these things are all, they're not cut perfect, that's for sure. All right, what do we got here? George Foster, Gary Templeton, Ken Reitz. And we finish off with DeJesus, Lee Mazzilli, and Bake McBride. Bake McBride was a good player for the Phillies. Um, 1980 World Series team, center fielder for that team. Doesn't really ever get talked about much, but he's a good player. Very good player. Another Joe Charbonneau. A couple of Mariners there mixed in. Freddie Lynn. 
Richie Zisk. Up oh, here's recently minted Hall of Famer. Ted Simmons. Billy Buckner. Greg the Bull Lazinski and Davy Lopes. Three very good players, none of which are in the Hall of Fame. Hall of very good, I would say, for all those guys. Gary Matthews was another good player. Played for the Phillies also, but spent a long time with the Cubs. I think he was in the Braves for a little period of time as well. But a very good player. Al Bumbry. Oh, we got another Ricky Henderson. Al Oliver and Dave Revering. All right, we got John Mayberry here with Mike Hargrove. And we got another Pete Rose here, same card as before, last pack. Always love getting Pete Rose cards. That might have been the same exact pack as the last one. As you can see, because this is not like an enormous set, you're going to have duplicate packs, quite a few. So, um, and it looks like there, I mean, I haven't studied it or really paid close enough attention, but it looks like there is a collation to these that's pretty consistent. Um, that usually has to do with the print runs. I mean, the collation will be different on the first print run than it will on the second print run most times. I mean... Ben Ogilvie, Carney Lansford, Milder and Carew on that one, Cooper, Wilson, and Trammell. You know who's not in this set that I don't think, that I think I mentioned he as he was, but I don't think he is, is Nolan Ryan. I don't think Nolan Ryan's in the set, which don't ask me why. Um, I mean, how do you leave Nolan Ryan out of a set? Mike Schmidt. It might just be that these are the All-Stars from the previous year. He might have not made the All-Star team that year. He didn't make that many All-Star games, which is just mind-blowing. And Dale Murphy. Now, see, these, these cards do have a wax stain. It's not a gum stain, but there's, there's a wax stain from the seal of the wax. Um, it's right on the middle card, usually, and it's... Typically, uh, not that bad. I haven't really seen too many that were too, too bad. No, I think a lot of that has to do with these wrappers. They're super long. They really only seem to be sealed, heat sealed, right in the middle here. Um, so that's why this middle card gets it. And they overlap quite a bit, as you can see. So it's not too bad of a wax stain. Just something to take note of. Now, if you ever buy our wax packs or wax boxes, as you can see here behind me, if you're wondering what those were, um, if you've never seen us before, all of our wax packs, which are real wax, which are heat sealed and hand, all of our packs are hand sealed and, and heat sealed. Those are all going to have protector cards um, that, let's see, they look something like, let's see, where we go here. They look something like this, and that's going to be just keeping the wax from, or the card that's on the top near the wax from being damaged. Tony Perez, Robin Yount, oh, here we go. Love this card with uh, Reggie Jackson and Ricky. The Rickies all seem to have you know some fading on the numbers or the scratch offs. This is a good uh, oh here we go this is a really good pack here. Ozzy Smith um, common card here Bob Horner followed up by Johnny Bench that's our first Johnny Bench pull there some would say the greatest catcher of all time, and I still think that probably holds true today. There's been a few great ones over the years, but if you look at his numbers and those that saw him play, and he was before my time, but I know that 
he was a wonderful player. And his game would definitely translate to today's game. He had some power. A lot of catchers don't have power. Eddie Murray. Al Bumbery, Frank White. Dan Meyer. Dave Kingman. Oh, there's a Carlton. Steve Carlton. I don't think we've seen a Carlton yet. Another Hall of Famer in this set who's towards the end of his career. And we got another Pete Rose. We got three Pete's. Pete's always on the top panel. Okay, we'll open up a couple more packs here after this one. Jim Rice, because we've sort of seen everything at this point. I don't think we've missed anybody. I think we've pulled all the big ones so far. Because like I said, I don't think there is a Nolan Ryan in this set. Ken Singleton. Nice looking Gary Carter. I like the Gary Carter one. I like I, Anytime I see Gary Carter in Expos uniforms, I like it. Definitely don't like seeing him in the Mets uniforms, but sorry, Mets fans. Two guys that are in the hall are very good. The Cobra and Davey Concepcion. All right, we'll do one more pack after this one. We got Fred Lynn, Champ Summers. Here is a Paul Molitor in the middle panel. Robin Yount. A nice Ozzy Smith here. Bob Horner followed up by Johnny Bench. So yeah, I think I mentioned in the beginning that there were one individual ones too. I, I was wrong about that. They're all these three players on one panel, and then the individual ones are once they've been perforated and they've been, you know, taken apart, which, you know, I could show you what that's like with one of these guys, but you can figure it out. You just bend it there on the perforated line and you can get the individual ones graded. All right, we'll finish off with this pack. Rod Carew, Paul Molitor, Reggie Smith, Davey Lopes, Lee Mazzilli. Here is a nice Ozzie Smith and Carlton on the same pack. Followed by Bob Horner, Warren Cromartie, and Jerry Mumphrey to finish off. All right, guys. Well. That was a pretty fun rip. Um, if you liked it, leave some comments below. And uh, we'll catch you next time at Classic Wax Sports Cards. Check us out at www.classicwaxsportscards.com. And we're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can um, pretty much order our packs directly from our website. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.